guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I thought I'd do a vampy look for you. Uh, this this is perfect for, you know, I think it's bold enough to, uh, you know, wear every day. You've got the bold lips, you've got nothing on the eyes hardly apart from like eyeliner and mascara and a little bit of uh, a base colour. And uh, I really enjoy putting this together. I've got to use my favourite lipstick in the world which is the uh, MAC Diva which is absolutely gorgeous. And if you'd like to see how I achieved this look, carry on watching. Okay, so I've prepped and primed my skin with my moisturiser and primer. And now I'm going to apply the Revlon Nearly Naked uh, Press Powder in 030 Medium. And I'm going to be buffing that on with the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Um, with this look, I think I'm going to go for more of a, uh, a matte skin look. Not too much shimmer because with a vampy look you don't want to look too shiny. As well as having matte lips, so... I'm just going to buff that in to my face, making sure I get all over my forehead, down my nose, just really work it into the skin for a natural finished look. Now that's done. I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in medium and I'm just going to uh, draw some, uh, draw a triangle down in concealer just to uh, cover up my dark circles and uh, light up parts of my face that I want lighting up. Done. I'm going to apply the Bourjois uh, Java Royce powder on just to set the concealer and you know make it last all day. Now that's done, I'm going to go in and uh, do my eyebrows with the Soap and Glory Archery Brow Tint and Precision, Precision Shaping Pencil. That is one word I can never say on camera. Precision. Precision. So, I always open it the wrong end as well. So I'm just going to fill my eyebrows in and give them a bit more definition. I'm not going to, going to go for anything too dark and dramatic because you want to keep the attention away from your eyes and draw it more to your lips with it being such a dark, um, vampy colour. And I'm just going to need them a bit more with Maybelline's Brow Drama uh, in uh, Transparent just to need them up, give them a bit more shape and definition. on 
to uh, my eyes. I'm going to keep this very minimal, but I'm going to do some really small cat flicks as well. So just to create like a base to correct the colour of my eyelids, I'm going to be taking um, this new uh, nude palette from Collection, which is the Eyes Uncovered palette, and it's six shades. And I think what I'm going to use is the shade. I think I'll go for the shade uh, Buttercream, which is the second one along, which is this one. So I'm just going to apply that on the eyelids just to give a base. So. take the super cat eyeliner from uh, Soul and Glory I'm just going to do a really small cat flick just to make it look a, a little bit more vampy so you'll have to bear with me this because I have to keep the mirror quite close to my face reason it's taken me forever to do I just know some days it's like impossible to do eyeliner for some reason so that's the eyes pretty much done I'm just gonna go in with some uh, roller lash mascara from benefit just to give my eyes a big pop and then we can get on to the face I'm gonna do quite a heavy contour and no blush so I'm just gonna apply this contouring uh, what I'm using for this is the new Barry M uh, chisel cheeks contour kit uh, you can get it I think it's a pound off in boots at the moment and it's fairly new so um, you've got three shades which is a light powder a medium brown and a dark brown powder so that would be to highlight um, then that would be to bronze and then that would be to contour so I'm just going to use that uh, just to build up a good contour on my face um you'll have to excuse me on this because i'm not a contouring pro so um however which way you like to contour do it your way so um, this is just a little base so i'm gonna take the light powder and dust it over the cheekbones and my chin Now I'm going to bronze by using the medium brown and I'm going to sweep that across my cheeks, my forehead and my nose. This is where uh, sunlight would naturally hit your face so it's to enhance the features. And down the sides of my nose, so let's get some product on the brush.
and then last but not least I'm going to go in with uh, the Revlon Colour Stay Plum Lip Liner and with that I'm using uh, Max uh, Diva which is absolutely gorgeous I'm going to smell it mm. and just create um, a burgundy vampy lip so I'm just going to line my lips first and fill them in a bit so it gives uh, something for the lipstick to cling on to instead of it bleeding up so lining the lips <laughs> in with the uh, lip pencil in a bit and I'm just going to apply um, the MAC Diva uh, straight from the bullet. liner now actually just to fill in the uh, outline of my lips just to make it a bit more neater to create a vampy look it's quite simple to do just choose yourself a really like good dark lipstick and you know make your eyes pop um i love uh, mac diva it's one of my favorite lipsticks i've ever used and it's just so just so vampy and i love it like you know it's very easy to create a, a gothic look if you need to and i just love it so there's the finished uh look for you That's it for this video. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna finish things off now. Uh, keep your eyes open for more videos coming up in the next week or so. I've got a whole load of videos to film uh, while I'm off work with my back, and uh, I hope you're enjoying what you've seen uh, so far in my videos. If you've got any ideas or anything you'd like me to do, leave some comments in the comment box below. Um, you know, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe at the top and I hope you enjoyed it if you liked it give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time for the next video bye